ladies and gentlemen, welcome out. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here. We're here with the man himself, Dr. George Harrison. Dr. George, uh, what do we got going on this morning? This morning, we're excited to announce our 5K uh, run as well as our one mile walk for sickle cell. Yep. September is sickle cell awareness month and sickle cell patients, you know, d disease which affects many in our society, uh, they're always in desperate need of blood yeah. transfusion. So we have a blood drive in addition to the run, the run as well as the walk to raise money gotcha. so that we can donate to the Sickle Cell Foundation in hopes of getting a cure. Gotcha. So it's Sickle Cell Awareness Month. Let, let's bring some awareness to it. Yes. You know, I had sort of a base understanding of sickle cell. So, uh, you know, sort of explain it to me, Irene. Well, sickle cell disease is a genetic disease where you get some of your chromosomes that are translocated gotcha. or deleted, so to speak. Uh, what happens is this, the red blood cells themselves, once they are subjected to stress, yes, they sir. sickle. Okay. And because they sickle, form like a C crescent or sharp points, it causes them to clog up gotcha. in the arteries and that disrupts the flow of blood. It's very painful. Uh, we think that the body did this as a protective mechanism gotcha. to fight against like malaria and right. other disease processes. It's predominantly uh, of African and Medi Mediterranean descent, but it can affect anyone. Right. So, uh, Dr. George, we got a race going on today, but you also can get blood out here, and you got Shepherd Community Blood Center out here. Talk about that partnership. Yes, yeah, Shepherd Community Blood Center has been wonderful community partners, both in the hospital. I'm a, a chief medical officer at Fairview Park Hospital, yeah. uh, and we often use their products uh, because we've known that there's been a disruption in the supply chain. Uh, and Shepherd has always been a great partner if we needed a a B positive, a B negative, or whatever we need, platelets, they're always to the rescue yeah. in addition to the American Red Cross. Uh, they have a clinic here in Dublin. They do a lot of services through the Dublin community, and we're just happy they can come out and help us uh, raise awareness for sickle cell disease. Yeah, awesome organization right here in Dublin. Yes. Uh, so you're a fraternity member in Kappa Alpha Psi. Tell us a little bit about I am. That. Kappa Alpha Psi is a historically uh, African-American fraternity which started in 1911 on the campus gotcha. of Indiana University. Right. Uh, we are, our, our purpose is achievement. We strive to provide achievement in every field of human endeavor. Gotcha. Uh, a large part of our mission is social, to bring awareness to disease which affects the plight of African-Americans, but everyone in general. Uh, we have a guide white program, we have a Kappa League, we have a lot of different services where we try to steer young men into yes, adulthood. Got you. So, you know, this is put on today by Kappa Alpha, but what else throughout the year has Kappa Alpha got? Kappa Alpha Psi, uh, what other things that we do, we have annual giving. We have a scholarship campaign, which we do yearly. Uh, we have annual giving at Christmas, annual giving at Thanksgiving. Uh, we take our undeserved, or I should say, uh, youth who are at risk gotcha. or youth who are disadvantaged. We often uh, provide them, you know, exposure to like careers, uh, yes. shows, things that they wouldn't normally see. Got you. Uh, so, you know, talking about sickle cell, you're the head of the sickle, what should I say, sickle cell board? I'm one of the committee members committee for sickle members. cell okay. disease. Yes. So talk about that. What comes with that? Well, what we do is we plan this event. It's getting larger each year. We yes, started sir. it back in 2019. Um, but what happened is we it was interrupted due to COVID. Right. Uh, and this is our second time being back out. And we're starting to get more and more traction. For so sure. hopefully we'll have this event to become as large as the uh, Shamrock, as sure, the yeah, yeah right, right, as the March events in Dublin. Yeah, what does it mean to have this back after those two years off? Yeah, well, it's, it's really good to uh, start getting folks to think about sickle cell disease yeah. again to donate and you know this blood is not strictly for sickle cell disease sure. it helps all individuals who are in need so that has been a bonus for us it just brings awareness brings the community out to support a disease that affects a lot of our citizens for sure dr george if somebody wanted to get involved with kappa alpha psi where could they keep up with what's going on well we're a membership only fraternity gotcha. but if you are interested in membership you must ask a member yeah uh, gotcha. and you know you could go to our website uh, if you aspire, and, and we take all nationality, races, and creeds, it's yeah. not just African Americans, yes, but you should go to our website, which Dublin Lawrence Alumni Chapter of Cal Psi, or you can just put in DLAC, D L A C, NUPES, N U P E S, gotcha. Google that, and you'll get our website. You also get our Facebook post. Gotcha. Doug George, congratulations on the turnout this morning. Yes. Glad to have the race back. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for talking with me. All right. Yes, sir. This is TV 35. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got Mr. Alfred here. Mr. Alfred's a member of the fraternity. Mr. Alfred, let's talk about that. What all comes with being a member of this fraternity? 
Well, there's a lot of dedication, I think. Yeah. You know, I've been a member of this um, organization for 50 years wow. uh, this past May. So dedication, commitment to helping the neighborhoods and doing things that are, uh, you know, sort of lifting up the fraternity as well as lifting up the community. For sure. Yes. What kind of things is the fraternity involved in throughout the year? Okay, we have a guide right program whereby we minister, uh, mentor students and this kind. The uh, sickle cell run that we do every year. We also have an annual scholarship for uh, uh, young men that are in high school, seniors coming out of high school. Gotcha. We do that every year as well. And uh, we've been doing a cash give out. We've been doing that at a lot of the high schools, yes, sir. whereby people just, uh, you know, because you think of uh, inflation and everything, people right. are kind of down on their luck. No so we've actually been giving uh, away cash to those people uh, at games and everything. You awesome. know, just luck of the draw so yeah. to speak yes sir. yeah that's awesome so mr alfred uh, you mentioned you've been a part of the fraternity for 50 years yes sir what kind of opportunity and benefits have come your way over those 50 years for being part of kappa alpha Psi? i i, I guess the relationship you think for about sure. the uh, uh um, commitment of other brothers of other uh, organizations but also too in terms of just opening doors for you in a lot yeah. of cases uh, I worked for the city of Atlanta for 31 years, okay. so that yes, actually helped me in a lot of cases. Our former mayor, uh, Kasim Reed, was a Kappa, okay. and oh. now our current mayor in the city of Atlanta is uh, Andre Dickens. He's also a Kappa, yes, so it, it 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 opens up avenues for you, for and sure. it's done done a lot of thing good things for me. Yeah. So yeah, for I can sure. speak to awesome it. Awesome brotherhood. Yes. You know, you know, if somebody wanted to get involved with Kappa Alpha Psi, what would you tell them to be like? You know, it's an awesome opportunity. You should come on. Yeah, absolutely, I would. Because I, I think, you know, as we, basically as we go through life, there are a lot of different challenges. And you, if you can count on 100,000 brothers yeah. Uh, yeah. all around the world to, to, to come out and help you in any way you can, I think the organization is a great way for young men to come out and uh, uh, be, become a member no and problem. one of the things that we stress is achievement and so a lot of the brothers uh, are actually uh, uh, been achieved in a lot of things you think about the uh, great basketball player Bill Russell or Wilt Chamberlain both who are Kappas wow. so uh, okay, I didn't they're, they're, know that. yeah there there's a lot of different things but it, it, it's, it's a great way to learn who your uh, community is learn who your leaders are and, and it, it, it's just a great opportunity, and I would challenge any young man who's going to college to think about it and uh, become a member of Cap Alpha Psi. For sure. Yes, sir. Plenty of avenues to success that come with, you know, being a member of the fraternity. Yes, sir. So let's talk about this road race today. Mm -hmm. what, what is the importance of this road race today? Well, I think the importance of it is to bring awareness of the sickle cell uh, uh, disease. Uh, according to statistics, somewhere between 70 to 100,000 people in the state of Georgia wow. are, are impacted by sickle gotcha. cell. And the majority of those impacted is uh, uh, African American. So we're trying to bring awareness to the community. We tried and hopefully we can uh, get the school system involved in this because you know, you, you think about kids, they, they could miss school because of, uh, they call it crisis, uh, when, 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 when that sickle cell thing flare up in them. Yes, sir. It, it, it's a crisis and they could miss school and a whole lot of things. And it could kill them, so right. if they don't know about it. So the awareness, the uh, uh, looking for the trait, we, we certainly think that it's uh, um, something that we should all be doing. For sure. Uh, all around the country, not just here. Right. And we, we're just trying to step out front and hopefully everybody will uh, do that. For sure. Yes, sir. Mr. Alpha, thank you for talking with me. Thank you. It's so great to bring some awareness to Sickle Cell. Thank okay, you, Mr. Alpha. Thank Alfred. you, sir. Have a great day. Yes, sir. Thank you all. Y'all keep watching. Hi, I'm Brandy, and I would like to invite you to experience our newly renovated mammography suite at the Fairview Park Hospital Breast Center. Our Breast Center has its own dedicated entrance with a relaxing boutique-like waiting area. You can make your appointment online anytime at fairviewparkhospital.com or by calling 478-274-3919. Most appointments take 30 minutes or less and we will have your results back to your doctor within 24 hours. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full-service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs 
and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got a very special guest, Miss Brittany Paldo. How you doing, Brittany? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, Brittany, let's start out. You know, tell us about your family. Who are your folks? Um, my parents are Greg and Gracie Paldo. They are natives and residents of Dublin, Georgia. Yep. Got you. Okay, Brittany. So, how has sickle cell affected you? Let's talk about that. Um, well, it has some days it affects me mentally, physically, you know, sometimes emotionally. I have a praying family, um, friends, right. supportive family and friends, so I just thank God for that. For sure. You know, how has God been able to help you and guide you through this sickle cell? Um, sometimes I just feel like giving up, um, but I think about God, you know, reading my Bible. For like sure. I said, um, prayer groups, they call them prayer warriors. Um, so I have plenty of prayer warriors, um, and they help me get through this. For sure. Brittany, explain sickle cell to me. Um, sickle cell is an inherited blood disorder. Um, you inherit it. Um, most people, a common question that I get, um, when did you get sickle cell? Most, well, you are born with it, right. but a lot of people, like back then, they didn't do the new newborn screenings and things of that nature. So gotcha. I was born with it at birth. Everybody is born That's with right. it at birth. So. Yeah. So when did it start affecting you? When did you notice the effects of sickle cell? Um, I had a conversation with my mom the other day. She said when I was smaller, it started affecting me then. Yeah. But I feel it's getting worse as I get older. Yeah, I got you. Well, Brittany, I mean, I, I wish you the best in your, in your battle with sickle cell. I know, I know you can handle it. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking with me, Brittany. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The man, the myth, the legend, first place finisher, Tao Duke Tao. 1834, man, that's pretty blazing speed right there. Yeah, yeah. I, last time I ran, I had 22 something. Okay, a little bit of improvement there. Yes. Sir. What's your best 5K time, man? 20, 22, 20, 22, so 22 low, like something in the 22. So did you just? That's your new best. Is that yes, sir. But there I ran, I ran it like a year ago. Though. Okay, I got you. So uh, that was your last run a year ago. Um, I ran the other day a two mile. Okay. So I got 13.53. Got you. So how often do you run? Almost every day. You run for your school? Yes, sir. Okay, I got you, Tal. So what, what do you love so much about running? Uh, I like to beat people. Yeah. And it just makes me feel good after. For sure. Yes, sir. So how often are you running in road races, and how, how many weekends are you running somewhere? Um, I'm, I think I'm running about five a year okay. right now. Got you. I'm, I'm trying to get more. But I'm running cross, middle school cross country right now. You gonna run at the high school level? Yes, sir. Got you. How'd you learn about this road race? What got you out here today? Um, I my my cross country coach when we ran the mile out there the other day, he asked me if I wanted to run it. Awesome. Got you. So, Tal, you know what what kind of training? You know, if somebody wanted to be a runner, what would you tell them? How how tough is it to be a good runner? Um, well, it's a lot of sweat and. Yeah. And you really just got to drink a lot of water. It's a lot of hard work with it. Yes. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your first place finisher right here, Mr. Tal Duke. Thank you, Tal. You're Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're joined by one of the greatest coaches in the in history of this city. I'll wow. say it, Mr. Clint. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but let's talk about your running. You set the bar high, 28 minutes. Let's talk about that. Yeah, uh, the last couple of uh, races I ran, I ran a 5K in Atlanta at Stone okay. Mountain Chapter. Uh, a little over 33 minutes. Gotcha, uh, I normally run the uh, Leprechaun Road Race gotcha. uh, around 31, 32 Not or so. Bad. So I said this time, you know, it's our event. Uh, I need to push myself a little bit more and uh, was able to finish at 28 minutes and 18 seconds. That's pretty doggone good, Mr. Clint. So I imagine, you know, outside of those road races, how often are you running outside of those? Uh, every chance I get, which yeah. is not much now, you know, I've been retired about six years now, and uh, every year Dr. Stuckey would call me back to come help out in some way. Yeah. And so uh, so between coming to work and doing home chores, church chores, uh, man and my children that are right. in the Atlanta area and my grandchildren demanding to see Poppy all the time, it's hard to squeeze some running in, but uh, I do it as often as I can. For sure, for sure. Mr. Clinton, you're working at the high school now. What are you doing now at the high school? Well, my main duties, I'm at the disposal of Dr. Uh, uh, Mr. Park, who's the principal of the yes, high sir. school, and uh, wherever he needs me, gotcha. uh, I'll make myself available to help out in 
uh, whatever way he needs me to. Uh, mainly I've been covering a few classes yes, sir. and uh, running off copies for teachers and uh, carrying those copies to them so they, gotcha. don't, they don't slow down their uh, instruction. And, uh, you know, a little light duty, right. hall duty, things like that. And uh, it's, it's been a, a blessing to me to be able to stay involved and uh, yes, have something to do, give me a reason to get up every morning. Yes, sir. It's good to have you still around. I know that much. Yes, I am blessed to still be around. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of my classmates, some have gone on to be with the Lord. Some are in various places yes, in the sir. United States. And uh, I'm home. I'm, I'm blessed to be here with my mom. She's still here. She's 88 years old. Yes, sir. And uh, she depends on me a lot to uh, come by and and help her out in some way. And uh, it's just a blessing to be available to her. Right. Because uh, I can't, you know, be gone long miles away and then she's calling me and I can't get to her. Yeah, that's, so uh, that's kind of why I'm still around. For sure, that's a real blessing to be available to her, to be here. Without for a doubt, for without sure. a doubt. So Mr. Clint, let's talk about this road race that Cap Alpha has put on today. What is the importance of you know this sickle, rail, sickle cell road race? Well, you know, uh, there's no cure yet for sickle cell. Right. It's sort of like a cancer. There's no major cure for yes, it sir. yet. Uh, but sickle cell is one of those that our national chapter adopted, and uh, our chapter is adopting it locally. Uh, gotcha. This is our second annual sickle cell road race. Uh, the first time we ran, we had about maybe 100 participants who did the one mile and the uh, 5K. Uh, COVID slowed us down for two years, yes, and then we thought that you know this year with the numbers down as they are, we'll get it going again. Yes, sir. And so we're blessed and fortunate to have a beautiful day That's right. to uh, get this event in, and uh, I'm just proud to be here. Yeah, Mr. Clint, I imagine it's great. It's a great feeling to have this race back after those two years off. Oh, sure, without a doubt, without sure. a doubt. So, uh, Mr. Clinton, you know, you mentioned that National Organization for Cap Alpha Psi. You know, how does that work with the National Organization for Cap Alpha Psi, but you also have your local organization? Yes, yes. Now, we've had cappers here for a good period of time. Uh, we finally got enough that we could form a chapter. Yes, sir. And so we go through our national chapter, which is in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, gotcha. that uh, approve most of the major events that we do. And since... Uh, the blood drive and sickle cell and Red Cross, uh, some of our national initiative, uh, we thought it would be good for our community that we get out and uh, raise funds for that uh, research as well. Yes, sir. Talk about the importance of raising awareness for sickle cell. Well, you know, uh, a lot of uh, people, I don't know what the numbers are in this area that has sickle cell. I do know of one young lady who's a member of my, of my church yes, sir. that has it gotcha. and uh, I've seen her kind of grow and uh, often making trips to the hospital for treatments. Uh, normally they're in pain a lot because of the sickle shape of the rare right. blood cells that are trying to force its way through the veins and, and the arteries and so it's real important that we do our part yes, sir. in our local community to help with that research. For sure. Mr. Clint, uh, congratulations on that finish. Today. Thank you, sir. Thanks for talking with me as well. I appreciate you coming out yes, and sir. giving us the coverage. Yes, sir. Deserves. Appreciate it, Mr. Clint. Thank you. Yes, sir. Y'all keep watching. Call Mr. Appliance for our speedy expert service. Are your appliances not performing correctly? Call 309-5960. Mr. Appliance of Dublin is your go-to company for dependable quality appliance service. Our experts are committed to delivering exceptional results in a timely manner, whether you need repairs, replacement parts, or general maintenance. Technicians are available on your schedule and always provide courteous, respectful, and quality work every time time. Our technicians always explain and ensure understanding so you'll never encounter surprise fees. Trust Mr. Appliance for residential and commercial repair, service, and maintenance. Call 309-5960. That's 309-5960. 309-5960. Serving Dublin and the surrounding area, Mr. Appliance and Speedy Expert Service, a locally owned and operated franchise. Maybe he landed here totally by coincidence. But if by chance he's admiring your fresh coat of Benjamin Moore soft sky blue, 
Well, that's a pretty high compliment. Coming from an expert. Quality products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're fresh off the road. First place finisher, Mr. Elijah Martin. Man, what'd you learn to run like that? I learned from like, just practice, keep going in and out. Doing practice and you get faster and faster the more you do it. And then we For train sure. at home. So Elijah's part of the Dublin cross country team. How long you been running for Dublin, Elijah? This is my first year. Okay, this is your first year. So the season's getting rolling now. Where are y'all at in the season? How's the season going for your boys? Thanks. See, the season's going pretty, it's pretty straight. You're going pretty good and, and like, I mean, it's like my first meet because like I ain't been able to go to other ones. Right. But like we be going pretty good so far. For sure. Elijah, who got you out there on the team? Uh, my friend, uh, two of my friends, and J Anthony and Javion. Got you. They had like they, they wanted me to run, so I had to try it out and I made it. There you go. Elijah, you're kind of new to, to the cross country side of things. How how you liking it so far? I'm like pretty good because like I did it in middle school. Yeah. Okay. When I was in seventh grade, but when I started back in tenth. I felt pretty straight, feel like I already knew how to do it because I had ran before. Right. So Elijah, how often are you running in like a road race type of thing like today? Pretty, it's kind of mild. Right. I'm running everyone, but I, I, I'm doing pretty, I ran pretty much. Okay. You know what your time was or no? No, I don't know what my time was. What's your best mile time? My best mile time? Uh, I think six minutes, 45 seconds. <laughs> That's pretty doggone good, man. Elijah, congratulations on that first place finisher today. This is your first place finisher, Elijah. Thank you for talking with us, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, what a special guest we have here, Councilwoman Miss Tess Godfrey. Miss Tess, you know, a lot of people may not know what all comes with being part of, uh, being a uh, council member. Uh, it entails doing a lot of community service. Um, I am a servant leader. Yes, ma'am. I'm not a politician. All I do is um, try to help people. And being a council person, it entails a lot, yeah. a lot of cleaning right. the city, yes, um, taking care of the needs of the people, yes, and uh, just being here for everybody in the whole city, because I am at large. That's right, that's right. So let's talk about what are, you, what are you doing out here today at this road race event? Today I was invited to come out to do this road race because it's Sickle Cell Foundation, and I actually had a friend to pass away from Sickle oh, wow, Cell, okay. yeah, at a very early age, so um, when I was asked to do it, it was a no-brainer, so I just had to come and do it today. Yeah, talk about, you know, uh, seeing your friend battle with sickle cell. Yeah, so when my friend had sickle cell, I didn't understand it. Yes, I was young as well, right. and all I remember him saying is, I'm having a crisis right now, wow. and I didn't know what that meant. And then he would also complain of his whole body hurting just all the time. Yes, ma'am. And um, for it to just take him out so at an early age, it was shocking, devastating, um, not just to me, but this, to this community as right. well. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, Ms. Godfrey, let's talk about you know the importance of spreading awareness for sickle cell. Well, I would like to spread awareness um, because it can happen to anyone. Yes. Um, I didn't even realize this young man had sickle cell. Right. So we could be a carrier and not know it. That's right. And um, I just think that this is such a great event, and I wish we would have more like this in Dublin. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Godfrey, thank you for talking with me. Thank you. This is Councilwoman, Ms. Tess Godfrey. Have a wonderful day. Yes, ma'am. Go dogs. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, what a time we're having today at the road race. We're joined by Mr. Kenneth Jones. Mr. Yes, sir. Kenneth, you working with Shepherd Blood Center today. What are we doing today? Well, actually, we are supporting the uh, Apicafa uh, sorority group today. Yes, sir. Uh, they called us, and they knew that we do blood jobs. We do this actually every year. Gotcha. Um, and it's something they do every single year, and they called and wanted us to be a part of it. Uh, we know Mr. Harrison from the uh, Dublin Fairview Park Hospital, yes, so uh, we wanted to come out and just support the sickle cell because that's, that's an important thing right now. Yes, sir. Okay. So when it comes to you know giving blood for sickle cell, does it have to be certain blood? What is it? What does it have to be? Well, listen, for blood to be given, we take all blood. Yes, sir. Uh, we know that this is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, right. uh, and we do want to highlight that because yes, it's sir. really important. Uh, especially in the African-American community yes, sir. Uh, to have that blood when there, it is needed. Uh, but we also have other people here today giving blood that's just right. because it yeah. saves lives. Yep. And so that's really important to us. Yeah. So let's talk about Shepherd. You got a center downtown. 
Correct. Talk about that. Now that's located on 122 South Jefferson Street. It yep. sits right next to Saltwater, okay. uh, our Dublin Center. So we have people coming in every single day that uh, want to give blood. Um, so they can come in right to that center and they gotcha. can donate there. And as you see, we have our mobiles that where we take um, also and we can place that on site. Uh, we've got 29 different locations that we serve from Georgia all the way to South Carolina. Awesome. So can anybody come in to the downtown location at any time and give some blood? How does yeah, that work? At any time or they can go online to our website, okay. shepherdblood.org. Uh, they can set up an appointment, come in at that appointed time, and they want to donate blood because we know that people are working. Sometimes they have to get off for lunch breaks and stuff like that. So they can set that appointment up ahead of time, uh, or they can just come in and we take walk-ins too. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, come support Shepherd Center downtown. You're saving lives as well. Mr. Kenneth, thank you for talking with me. Anytime. Yes, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as they get ready to close up shop here today at the Sickle Cell Road Race, I mean, it was such a great time. Um, so thank you all for watching, but hey, stay in touch with Kappa Alpha, you know, watch what they're doing throughout the year. They do some great things. Also be on the lookout for this road race next year. If you miss it this year and want to participate next year, don't forget about it. You got to come on out next year for sure. And of course, we just talked to the Shepherd Blood Center. So, you know, that's always open downtown. Anybody can go get blood uh, for sickle cell or anything else. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in today. I had a great time. You're watching TV 35.